Hey, it's Brian Mudd. This is my cheat sheet for Thursday, November 10th. I do have a breakdown on the Republican debate last night, a little candidate-by-candidate candidate breakdown. Uh, my take, long and short, was that outside of, oops, the Rick Perry moment, and I'm not even getting into that. I mean, I think Rick Perry, you know, final nail in the coffin here, and I'm sorry if you're a supporter of his, I just don't see how you recover from that latest debate performance. But aside from that, I'm not sure anybody really jumped off the page. So I think it's going to be in the eyes of the beholder uh, what your own individual takeaway was from last night. Um, you know, Newt Gingrich did stand to benefit, perhaps, because he had been rising in the polls, becoming the number three challenger uh, to Herman Cain and Mitt Romney going into the debate. be interesting to see if that trend continues. I thought it was a solid night for a lot of folks, and in particular, Ron Paul. You know, this was about economics. That's right in his wheelhouse. He didn't have to deal with the foreign policy stuff. Thought he handled himself well. Michelle Bachman, even Rick Santorum to a support, you know, to a point I think was pretty solid. Uh, you know, talking about manufacturing jobs. Plus, they were in Michigan, which lends itself to that type of a discussion. Uh, so, you know, the question is, can there be some of the moj if Herman does have problems uh, in the polls because of the other personal problems? Where would that support go? Does it go to Newt? Does it go to Ron Paul? Does Michelle Bachman get back into the picture? All right, um, let's talk a little bit about health care. Walmart. Walmart, uh, earlier in the year, and this is a story I've talked about, started a trial program with 150 different independent health care clinics. The idea? Uh, full doctor's offices. Doctors, nurses, uh, you know, the whole deal. Pharmacists, and drugs right there. And so it was supposed to make uh, access to health care more affordable, low-cost options, so that people could engage in, uh, in medical care in a much more affordable way. Well, they're now saying that program has been a success. And they're cautious about how they're going to expand it. But Walmart could be changing the way we view health care uh, around the country. They are taking a look at a possible nationwide rollout of health care. Actual administ administers of health care with these full hospital-like setups, either attached to stores or independent operations. They're saying that they've been building this in anticipation of health care reform fully being implemented by 2014 because at that point everybody has insurance, everybody has to participate in some way, shape, or form. So, you know, people on the uh, lower end of the socioeconomic scale in particular that are coming into the system, this would be a great place for them to be able to obtain affordable health care. Uh, so it's an interesting concept. I've got more information on the physical cheat sheet, uh, but that, that nationwide rollout could start as early as January next year. Veteran State Freebies, Applebee's, Olive Garden, Chili's, Subway, Golden Corral, all among restaurants offering freebies uh, between Friday and Monday. Um, I have a full wrap-up of that on my physical cheat sheet this morning. Also, how about SeaWorld, Bush Gardens? Yeah, free admission there over the weekend. I think that's terrific for uh, veterans' families. And uh, also, National Parks. National Parks are waiving all uh, admission uh, for veterans over the weekend. So that's a good family activity as well. It's the cheat sheet for today. See you tomorrow.